people who can tolerate stronger spice, men and women, we know it's correlated with higher levels of circulating testosterone. That I think is interesting. What we're really talking about is higher pain threshold. Mm. And we, you and I have talked before about if there's one clear effect of testosterone, it's that it makes effort feel good. That that pain starts to have a little bit of a come hither kind of thing to it. It feels a little bit enticing mm. when testosterone levels are elevated. When testosterone levels are lower or if people have lower levels of testosterone, effort feels more overwhelming. How's that? Mm. Um, and the other thing is that ingestion of, of spicy peppers resets your calibration for what's spicy. I think we know that too. And in a way that also adjusts people's pain threshold. So if people get bet better at eating hot peppers, they're better at dealing with all types of pain. And I find this fascinating because I know you and I are both kind of obsessed with ice baths and cold, cold plunges. Yeah. And I've been going deep into that literature around cold and what's really known about cold thermogenesis and not known. And it seems like the, these acute adrenaline, acute pain pathways, they do exactly what exercise does, which is in the moment, if you were to measure somebody's inflammation, et cetera, you'd say, this person is dying. They're in a terrible state. They might as well be getting, you know, open heart surgery with no anesthesia, the way some people react to the ice bath. It's kind of silly the, to us, but for people that don't like the cold, they're like, you gotta be kidding me. I'd never go near it. They try and disparage it. They try and poke every hole in the data. They're just scared, right? Yeah. They're just scared. We know this, but they are actually the people that benefit the most because that really acute adrenaline spike, that pain that you feel creates a l higher pain threshold later higher threshold for work output, all the things that most people seek. And so to me, it's always interesting that it, you have to look what's happening during and you have to look at what's happening afterward. And I, for some reason as humans, we like these creature comforts of massages, which are great. Um, you know, the sauna, which is great. Although if you crank it up really hot, it's work at some level. It's always work at the end. It, there's that the moment. The last five minutes of a 25 minute session at 190 yeah. degrees, those are, that's work. 